In this video, we're going to create our very first Ziva tissue object. So what I'll do is run through the steps really quickly and then talk a little bit more about tissues after that. So what I'll do is select this object here. This is a Maya polymesh. It's our right bicep object. And under the Ziva menu, under the Add Simulation and Component section, I'll select Tissue. And you can see we've got some extra stuff in the scene, which we'll talk about later. Um, but if I play this back now, you're going to see this object drop in space. Um, so you can see the physics are already being applied to it. It's worth noting that when you do play back your Ziva simulations, you're going to want to make sure that under playback speed that play every one of these two play every frame options is selected. And that's because as a simulation, it's, it needs to see every frame sequentially. And by the same token, you can't scrub the timeline at this point. So you notice that there's no rig or anything that goes into Ziva tissues. Um, in fact, Ziva's going to ignore any upstream deformers that you have running into your meshes. So even if you make a, a rig for it, it's not going to do anything. And we'll talk about how to adjust the materiality of the tissue objects, you know, and attach them to bones and everything later. But yeah, it's just worth noting that there's no, you know, Maya rigging as such that goes into the mesh itself. Uh, the other thing to note is that this is just an arbitrary mesh so you know we don't force you to use any kind of muscle primitive or anything like a nerves tube or you know that sort of thing you know it really gives you the freedom to articulate the muscle exactly the way you want so you know you can have it as low resolution or high resolution as you want or as little or as much detail as you want and so yeah the the, the power is really in your hands as to how far you want to go with the the fidelity of your tissue objects so in the next video we're going to talk about this latticey thing here around the tissue object which is called the tet mesh and how that relates to the simulation. Alright, thanks for watching.